welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I actually am here to share with you something that you guys have probably already seen um, in my last video and in the ending of the other video before that. So, on the 1st of June, I actually went and got my hair done. Um, I have never done anything like this before. Um, so I just wanted to go through with you guys with what was done on my hair. Uh, bear in mind, um, some places do this differently. This is just how the um, hairdresser that I went to did this. Um, and bear in mind that Every hair type is different and not all uh, hairs are going to look like this. So, let's get into it. Okay, so, uh, on the 1st of June, like I said, I went to get my hair done. So, the first thing that they did was look at my hair. Because, um, I'm just going to mention the last two things that I did. Thank you. After Maria was born. Um, so roughly two months after she was born, I um, dyed my hair purple. And then three, four months after that, um, I decided to go black again to dye my hair black. So I had those two colours in my hair just from after Maria was born. So this was not counting everything that I had in it before that. Uh, so the first thing they did was analyze my hair and they were up front straight with me and said well you know we can't get your hair to blonde and I said yes I'm I'm aware of that because black is a really hard um, dye to get out of your hair the pigment is just horrible to get out so uh, we got that straight and then what she did was she actually bleached my hair and I will insert pictures um, throughout the video on this side of how my hair um, turned out in the end. I have three photos that I can insert here. Um, so basically she she started bleaching my hair. She goes from the ends and then roughly up to the top because I have no dye and not bleach my hair at the top. This here in Portugal is called balayage. So she starts bleaching my hair from the ends up and then she puts them in foils. My hair was not just left um, out, it was actually put up in foils. So once it was in foils and we were all done, um, she actually, I forgot to mention this, but she sec sectioned my hair in four and then she picked up small sections and then kind of weaved the comb through and then combed backwards. So she only bleached a bit of those sections. So once my hair was up in foils, she actually blow dried it because the heat helps the, um, the hair to actually bleach faster. So she blow dried my hair for a bit and then once she was done, uh, I started hearing some sizzling on my left side and I told her and she said that was fine, that was normal, but we had to get the bleach out. So that lasted roughly 40, maybe not even that, 30 minutes maybe with bleach in my hair. And we then um, rinsed my hair out and it wasn't much different from this colour. All she did was then use this dye that goes on wet hair to try and even the tones out. So I did that, I kind of got a little bit, just took some ends off and then I blow dried it and curled it, which is what you're going to see from these pictures. Um, I think that the overall result of my hair was totally different from what I was expecting, but for the better. I really like my hair. It's something that I have never done before. I've always just um, dyed it straight. Um, black, I've had my hair red, um, but I've never had it like this. So I really liked it. I really like the fact that at the front, it's much lighter than the rest of the hair. I do have some highlights in the middle. At the back, it is quite light as well. I don't know if you guys can see it from this lighting, but you will be able to see it in the pictures. So 
I just wanted to give you guys that little update. It was something that I was wanting to do for a while and I decided to pick this time that we were, we are nearly going to Switzerland to do it. Um, so yeah, uh, I really like my hair like this and overall I don't think I spent that much. I paid 88 euros to get it bleached, coloured, um, cut and blow dried and styled, which I don't think was that much. So yeah, I, I loved it. And I actually wanted to share a quick little update with you guys on Maria. Um, I realized that I haven't been vlogging as much as I would like to. Um, I know you guys saw the little um, video I made for Lucas, which I will be putting English subtitles up soon. Um, that was his little birthday surprise. And we actually had a surprise as a family on his birthday because Maria actually just had her first tooth come out. Can you smile? Smile. Jumaya. <laughs> so she got her first tooth, it's down here on the left side and it's adorable and it was actually actually Lucas who saw it which I think just made it the perfect end to a perfect day on his birthday. So that's really nice. So yeah, uh, if I can get a picture of that I'll try and insert it but I don't guarantee it because it's very very small still and she's not the type to let us see it. So yeah, um, I hope you guys stick around. I have loads of new content coming out for you guys. I just really wanted to give you guys this nice little update because I think us mums do have to fight to get our, our own self-esteem back. Um, and I think this really helped me with mine. So I hope you guys like this little vlog, this little update, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.